What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Lazy Eye, and I am back looking more busted than ever. Hi. So, first things first, the hair I know is in twists, but anyone with natural hair knows the longer you twist it, the better the twist out. And plus, it's going to rain the next three, four days, so who needs to have their hair out? Why would we do that? Why would we do that? We're, we're not doing that. Um, Second, yes, there is tape on my nail. This nail is trying to clock out early, and we are not having that okay if anyone's curious about my nails i did get a tribute to nipsey hustle nails so nipsey hustle some stones and i also have a flag so yes 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 that's what we're doing you know ignore the background over there moving forward as you can tell by the title this is my sephora haul yes hunty i've already taken part of shout out to my best friend and Brittany. she is vib rouge this year she was last year not judging her because out of me and her one of us needs to hit rouge so we've kind of decided like not both of us need to hit rouge and platinum and all these other things just one of us so if you have a best friend that's into makeup and skincare an easy way for y'all to save money is just to kind of use the same account they only ask for the phone number so whoever phone number is linked to just give them to it and you can shop um shop that way so for y'all that don't know um vi uh the vib sale started the Twin Six for VIB Rouge and for VIB and then Beauty Insider that starts on May 2nd, which is Thursday. So y'all got time to kind of figure out what you want to go, which you want to get. I always recommend stocking up on skincare, foundation, and expensive eyeshadow palettes. That's what I that's what I suggest. Like your high ticket items ball out, go out of control. I personally gave myself of like a $300 shopping limit. I think I, yeah, I stayed within it. I actually still have some money if I want to go get something else. So I always say, come up with a budget. You don't need everything that's on your list. Trust me, you don't. Just go with the stuff that matters. I personally partook in a lot of skincare. So I did two pieces. Um, because some stuff was online only and I actually went into the store. So we'll start with online only. This is fresh soy face clean, facial cleanser. Um, this is the 20th anniversary limited edition. So every year fresh does their facial cleanser because they have it year round, but this one is special because it comes in 6.7 fluid ounces for like a really good price. So they always do this one. Um, my best friend has been trying to get me to try this cleanser for forever. I've just been like, girl. You know, I was on the Minimo for a while. So once Minimo skin um, cleared up my skin, I haven't really been using it on a regular basis. I don't really need to because my skin isn't breaking out. So my skin is pretty clear. And plus, I'm drinking a lot more water these days. Like the spots that are left, there is just like freckles, girl going nowhere so yeah um the cleanser actually has pretty decent ingredients because y'all know i'm really into ingredients so i see water soybean oil um sunflower seed oil aloe um ginseng there's a lot of good stuff in here and then so y'all can see the size and i think this one was like 42 or 45 dollars this is the bottle and it's like a squeeze top. Um, I don't see myself using this up by the next V um the next VIB sale, which is in the fall, usually like September. I don't see that happening. Like, cause with this cleanser, you don't need to use a lot. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I know I have had someone um request a morning routine. Gotcha, boo. It's coming soon. The next thing that I definitely picked up is the you're not gonna be able to see this yellow and white just forget it this is the laneige lip glowy balm in peach you know summer might be coming even though it snowed this past saturday um today is monday um april 29th definitely snowed but then the very next day was like 50 55 degrees so you know whenever sun you know summer wants to come play we can do that so it's just a little lip balm um, you know, can't we can't one thing we're not trying to be in any season is ashy, so we're just not gonna do that. We don't need that kind of energy. And you know, online they always run like little di um little promos. Cause girl, I didn't think it was gonna be this small. Um, this is actually the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask. I really wanted to try this. 
But one of my concerns is that water, um, their watermelon mask has a lot of different acids in it, which sometimes can have an adverse, uh, adverse effect on your face, depending on what else you're using on your face. So I'm glad to have gotten this. I can kind of try this out and see how it's going to go. But yeah, oh, the lip balm was 15 And I'm giving y'all the regular price, not the sale price. Looks like they threw in a little sample like they always do that will just go in the box. So, let's just hope my boyfriend don't watch this video because he gonna be like, ma'am, 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 ma'am. So, let me get the receipt. That's the, that's the survey they always want you to take. Not taking it. Bear with me. Don't don't judge. Don't judge. That's what we're not going to do. So, one of the big things I really wanted to try, like one of the big skincare brands I wanted to try was Glow Recipe. Um, They're fairly new, but I just feel like their bottles are super cute. All the reviews I've seen are pretty good. And it's for oily to combination skin, which is, hello, miss me, miss I work at Popeye's half the day, frying chicken. So this is their moisturizer, which I think, like I said, I've heard nothing but good things. Oh, cause hold on, cause it's not worth a nail. Already got one nail trying to clock out. So I've heard pretty good things. Um, the original price is $39. And that's why I tell people for these sales, rack up on your more expensive items. Like the packaging is pretty super cute. And then, I'll show y'all the actual bottle. This is the actual bottle. So you get, how many ounces? Ooh, I can't read it. Oh, you get two, 2.03 fluid ounces. I really wanted this because it's super lightweight compared to, this is the one I'm using now. This is what I was talking about. Minimo is gonna be too thick because this is like a shea butter based um moisturizer i need something that's like gel consistency for the summer so that's what we went and did and then i that was 39 dollars for those of you judging next thing is mr ole henderson so this is ole henderson's glow dark spot toner it has some type of chemical symbol there couldn't read it nope so this is basically a toner you only Hear me when I say this. For the people in the back, you use this at night. Do not. I mean, you could, but I would not put this on and then roll up outside in the sun, even if the sun is not out. Because this is for dark spots and it has AH, AHAs in it. So basically, this helps to lighten your dark spots. So if you put this on, especially if you don't put no sunscreen on and roll outside, sis. Your dark spots are not going to get any lighter. Actually, you just make them darker. If you're going to use anything with AHA in it or like dark spot correcting, you have to use a sunscreen, please. Because, um, first off, let me just find the price. This toner is $28. So you going to waste $28 and you're going to make your dark spots darker? It's not, we're not doing that, sis. We're not. So this one is 6.5 fluid ounces. And this is going to be a part of my nighttime routine. If I could just... Everything's like childproof. And I just don't understand. So this is what the actual bottle looks like. Super cute. You, I like bottles where you can actually see how much product you have left. So that's pretty good. So we will... We will be using those. I will come back and do like a nighttime. I'm gonna redo my nighttime routine. So we'll do a morning routine and a nighttime routine with these new products. Moving forward. More Ole Henriksen. This is the truth serum. I have heard nothing but good things about this. The ingredients. I'm sorry about the autofocus, y'all. I have yet to learn how to turn off the autofocus. So back to what I was saying. This is bomb. Like all the people I've known who've really used this and stay consistent with it, 
their skin is beautiful so that's what we're shooting for all 2019 we don't want to look stressed and depressed we want to look rested and loved okay rested and loved we want to look like we actually got a tax return because <laughs> some of us didn't you know shout out to y'all president really appreciate that but yeah the point is all jokes aside don't nobody get in their feelings about the president joke and be leaving me comments because sis I'm not replying. Actually, I'll remove them because it's not that serious. But, oh no. Did I actually just snatch that off like that? Jeez. No. I think I just broke it. This has to be a joke. I never just snatched the top off. I think it goes back on. No. Okay. All is well. Okay maybe all is well so this is what the actual bottle looks like you don't need a lot of this do not slather your face in it you probably need a pump or a half a pump and the truth serum was 49 dollars for one full ounce y'all know serums are pretty pretty expensive so hence why you need to be trying to pick up this kind of stuff during a sale next same brand, Olay Henderson. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, funny story. So on one of my makeup tutorials, I use the NYX Proof It um, Eye Primer. It burnt my eyelid, y'all. Like to the point where I had to run out and like get some, get some serious eye creams and stuff. But like all the ones I was trying, I just really wasn't a fan of. Um, I specifically tried the L'Oreal Honey Eye Gel Eye Cream thing. Really wasn't a fan of it. And like looking at the ingredients of some of the other ones, it was just like, okay, y'all ain't really, y'all claiming this is natural or it has a lot of natural ingredients in it. And it doesn't. So I ended up going with this. It's pretty small, but it's like, this is average size for a night cream. I mean, an eye cream. I've never seen anything bigger. Um, let me see. This one was 38 Dolores. Anything to keep from having bags. Okay. Okay. Another thing that I was super excited about because my best friend Brittany, she did put me on to Laneige, but especially girl, we was hanging out, we're having like a girls weekend and she was like, she started putting this on. I was like, hold on, wait a minute. What is this? Cause it smells so good but this is the laneige night sleeping like the night mask but it's in lavender so it's actually called the water sleeping mask in lavender and it got the little sleeping like little right it's just so cute and y'all know purple is my favorite color so i was just like so here for it so oh almost dropped the spatula that comes with it so it does come with this little spatula but this is what it looks like. You do get um, 2.3 ounces. But if you do pick up the Laneige sleeping mask, you can only use it two to three times in, um, a week. I think it has something to do definitely with how potent it is. You can't use this every night. So this is actually going to last me a pretty long time. And it was only, I want to say $25. Yep, because it was. It was only $25. So for a sleeping mask, that's really good. Um, I used to be addicted to the Lancome sleeping mask in the green jar. And that mug is like $65. So we are making progress. Okay? Okay. So that was it for skincare for me. Um, I pretty much have everything. The only other thing I need to pick up is another toner. Right now I'm fin finishing up a Mario Badescu toner. And then after that I'm going to go get the fresh toner. Or um, the green version of this one. And then I already have a sunscreen. A lot of people have been asking me. It is the Shiseido, Shiseido Urban Environment UV Protection um, SPF 40. You can put this on your body and your face. I put it on my face and it doesn't make me ashy because you know when you're a person of color, a lot of skin sunscreen makes you look like who did what, who done did it, why, and did nobody tell you. We just don't need that kind of negativity. So the last thing I picked up, and it's a backstory to this because I know y'all like, I know that's not Benefit Toasted Bronzer. Yes, it is. Benefit Toasted Hula Bronzer in my hand. 
so y'all know i really do adore fenty and i really do stand for the brand y'all seen it here on my channel numerous times so i roll up to the stand super excited and i'm like swatch i don't watch videos i'm like swatching and i'm like ooh, it's gonna be lit pause i thought it was gonna be caramel cutie i swatched caramel cutie caramel cutie is my skin tone this color so i'm like okay the next color down which is I don't even know because at this point I'm like really upset like what do you mean swatch the next color down and it has like this weird orangey undertone I'm just like what so now I'm looking at the last color which is like mocha mommy which looks like somebody took red and mixed it a little bit around it's like a red bronze and I'm just like whoa so there's no bronzer for me um if you're my color and use me as a reference we're like shade 370 um yeah we're like shade 370 there's no bronzer for you she did say she's gonna expand but the first go around it ain't none for us sis so i had to roll right over to benefit and get this and let me just show you the color of toasted so you can see like now that's gonna work now i don't know why they give you these childish brush i'm not using that but you can see in here it's like a really nice brown and i'm just like there we go so hopefully fancy does go ahead and expand and comes out with a bronzer that works for us that are like 370 380 390 because right now sis ain't none for us so um what was i saying the hula one so the hula bronzer was 30 dollars it's cheaper than the Fenty one anyway, so it's just like, okay, win some, lose some. But yeah, so in total, I spent $179.32, mostly because I live in the state of Illinois and tax alone was $12, okay? But yeah, I did pretty good considering um, it's always good to stock up on good stuff. So like I said, if you're going to be checking out the Sephora sale, pick up skincare, pick up foundations, pick up expensive palettes, like... Pick up stuff that you know, if it wasn't for the sale, you would be spending, you would be dropping like three, four hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. So all of this would have cost me way more because I got 20% off. So just be wise. I mean, there's a lot of videos out here. You don't have to have everything. You don't need everything that's on everybody else's list. Go and get stuff that you're going to need. And if you're not signed up, you can sign up to be a beauty insider. Doesn't cost you a thing. and You guys still get 15% off. Or in my case, if you know a friend, just hit them with the so what's the phone number. Go in. Um, but you have to go in store to use that. Use the phone number several times to use the discount. Online, you only use the code once. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. Hope you guys got some ideas about the Sephora sale. Um, coming up, we will have a morning routine. A updated nighttime routine i may go to sephora to pick up a couple more things i'm not too sure yet we'll see if if i do i'll mention it to y'all i ain't gonna be you know i ain't gonna be like that um we got a few more reviews coming up but yeah i just wanted to stop in really quick let you guys know if you have any questions please leave them down below be sure to rate comment and subscribe I will also leave Brittany's Instagram down below. She does do really cool product recommendations on her Instagram. So I'll go ahead and link that down below. Be sure to follow her, follow me, subscribe, leave a comment. You know, just, you know, be real, okay? Be real, we be real to you, okay? Okay, perfect. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.